New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. We have done a good number of reviews on inspection cameras on this channel. We've seen a lot of really high-end expensive ones that have been really good. So when Depstech reached out to me and said they had a newer model, I really wanted to take a look at it because they're kind of known for having really high-end inspection cameras that won't break the bank. This is a newer model. This is the DS620. and They did send this to me for free so that I can share it with you guys. In the box, you're going to find the inspection camera itself, a carrying case, the manual, a charging cable, and it is USB-C, and a vial with two end attachments. One is a hook style pickup attachment and one is a magnetic style pickup attachment. The inspection camera has a decent sized screen. It's five inches on a diagonal measurement. It's designed to be held comfortably with one hand. It kind of just feels really good when you hold it just like this. The cameras, yes, the end does house two cameras, is attached to a 16.5 foot cord. That cord is semi-rigid, making it easy to shove into tight places, and it is advertised as being waterproof, so if you accidentally dunk the camera, it's not a big deal. When you turn the camera on, you hold the power button down, you're greeted with a very quick splash screen, and you're instantly shown the front-facing camera. Speaking of cameras, there is the camera that points straight out the end of the cable, but there is also a camera on the side that is 90 degrees. That way, if you're having problems seeing something off to the side, you can switch cameras and it may give you a better view. Both cameras have light assistance. If you need it, you can turn these lights on and off, and the lights do operate depending on what camera you have on. What I really appreciate about this inspection camera is the simplicity. When you turn it on, it just works. It's not really complicated. There really isn't a setup unless you want to add the time and date. And at any point, if you get a little bit confused on its operation, there is even a built-in tutorial. And there is also a video tutorial that will also help you operate the unit. Navigation of the camera is really simple as well. This particular button allows you to rotate the image. And if you hold it down, it'll swap between the two cameras that are built into the end. This is the configuration button. It allows you to change some of the settings. But again, there's not a lot of settings to this. It just works out of the box. Pressing left and right will increase or decrease those lights on the end of the camera and one click of this button up here will give you a snapshot and when you hold it down for two seconds it'll start a video yes it will record as well the picture quality is really good it's it's way better than i expected for a budget friendly inspection camera but i think the question in everybody's mind is well how well does this work in a real world environment well we're going to find out so i think a really good test would be to go through the oil port of my compressor and take a look inside and see what we can see and I'm just kind of moving the camera around, taking a look at stuff inside. Things look pretty good, though I do see a little bit of rust on the one side back here in the corner. Other than that, things look really good, and we can get a really good detail of all kinds of components inside the compressor head. Let's do the same test with the 90 degree camera on. And as you can see, it's a whole lot easier to take a look at the bearings because, well, that camera that faces 90 degrees is turned on and we can see a lot more things inside the compressor head. So what are my final thoughts of this particular inspection camera? I really like it. I like the fact that it's extremely clear, the screen is easy to see, and it's pretty easy to operate. Some of these inspection cameras, I kind of have to keep going back to the instruction manual to figure them out. This has a built-in tutorial making that super easy. At the time of this video, this retails for $80, but right now there's a $25 clippable coupon on the Amazon site that makes this about $55. Depstech has been making inspection cameras cameras for about 10 years now and well they know how to do it they know how to build these things and make them reliable so I wouldn't be afraid to buy this particular inspection camera now one thing to keep in mind at least with this model is it does not come with an SD card you have to provide your own SD card if you want to take pictures and record video I will put an affiliate link down below if you like these types of videos don't forget to like and subscribe take a look at some of my other videos at the very least you might be entertained